Burmese and Thai Buddhist monks chant prayers for their brethren in neighboring Burma, renamed Myanmar by the generals who rule it. Monks there have been killed, chased from their monasteries and locked up in their hundreds. The United Nations has now confirmed a large number of monks, nuns and civilians are being held by the army. Those detained were incarcerated at barracks under harsh conditions without even access to toilets. They have since reportedly been moved to a secret location. There are, of course, concerns about the conditions that the, the detainees were being kept in. The bigger concern now, though, is where have they been taken to and what access will they have to international organizations such as the Red Cross. And so I think this is a, an issue of big concern to the United Nations that the UN will be pursuing. The crackdown against anti-regime demonstrations led by Buddhist monks prompted the United Nations Special Envoy Ibrahim Gambari to fly to Burma, where he's met with the heads of the military regime and the pro-democracy opposition. But rights groups accuse Mr. Gambari of achieving nothing so far in terms of easing the crisis or ensuring the safety of those arrested and whose fate is currently unknown. Certainly deeply concerning. Uh, the international community must find out where these detainees are and in, under what conditions and find out immediately. And that is what Mr. Gambari is there to do. Anything less is unacceptable. The number of people killed in these clashes with security forces is 10, according to the military regime. Many countries are now openly challenging that figure. There is a uh, uh, consensus sense assessment within the international community that the number of victims is considerably higher than the number that the government has, the government of Myanmar has indicated. Those who don the saffron robes in Thailand fear for the fate of their fellow monks inside Burma. In the absence of news, they do the only thing that they know how to wait and pray for their safe release.